So hello and welcome to another Reflex episode. And I'm going to talk about charging because a lot of people who want to get into electric cars, they regularly ask, how on earth do I charge it? So we're going to talk about four ways that we can charge an electric vehicle. So I've got my Ionic and also a Co-Wheels Nissan Leaf to show you exactly today how we charge an electric vehicle. So this is stage one. The slowest rate of charge is with a granny cable or a three pin plug. And I'm going to show you now what that means. So here we go. These are the cables that you have in a new electric vehicle. This is the, the granny cable or the EVSE as it's commonly called, um, electric vehicle standard equipment. So this is basically a three pin plug. This is the slowest rate of charging. And that is a type one to type two charger, which can fit into your untethered charger or a fast charger, which I'll show you in a moment. But first off, let's do level one charging, just a three pin plug. And here I do have a waterproof outside socket. So you just plug it in. And then what you have here, after you've plugged it in, is just show that it's ready, it's powered. This is a communication device. And you walk over to the car and you open your little orange flap and again similar that as the uh, type uh, fast charge cable I'll show you in a moment you plug it in the car does a few beeps it's communicating with the brick the brick is recognizing the car and it's now actually charging on a three pin plug charger this is the slowest rate of charge and this will charge the, the Nissan Leaf at the rate of nine miles per one hour. So uh, this is what's called a granny charger. It's as slow as your granny, but you can also take it to your friend's house or your grandparents. <laughs> if they haven't got a proper car charger, just a three pin plug, you can charge your electric car. So let's have a look at using a, f a f fast charge cable, which coupled up to my uh, home charger which is rated at seven kilowatts i'm not going to talk about the kilowatts and the amp because that will just confuse matters but we will now want to charge from a home charger so here obviously i'm trying to do it with one hand <laughs> we offer it up just simply plug it in and again the other end of the cable again plugs into the car communicates with the charger get a couple of clicks and on this zappy charger the green light comes on and it's now charging now at seven kilowatts, this leaf will charge at the rate of around 25 miles per one hour of being plugged in. So that's us now covered. We've covered level one, the three pin plug charger, and level two, a lot faster from a seven kilowatt home charger. So now let's go and have a look at the difference between a rapid and a fast charger at, uh, at Doonby School, if it's not too windy. So the first way we can charge an electric car is with a what we call a fast charger. And I'll show you how we're going to use that. And also a rapid charger, which has the cables already attached. So just have in mind, that's a rapid, the big tall white box, and that is a fast. There is a massive difference between fast charging and rapid charging. So let's start off with a fast charge designed primarily for when you're going to leave the car for several hours, you're going shopping, and this is just for when you want, you're doing a long trip and you want to fill up really quickly and then be on your way. So let's have a look at a fast charger. So the first thing we do is release the flap and on this older shape Nissan Leaf, we have two connections. We're going to use this one here. And as you can see, the shape of that connector there matches the shape on the type one end. So you line the slot up at the bottom and push in until it clicks. So what we do, we get the card reader and we offer it up to the machine and it starts to check the card. And then it's saying plug in either side. So we're gonna plug in this side. So you pull the little flap up, offer the end in, push in. And what it's going to do now, it's going to talk to the car. Two beats from the car. You can see the lights flashing on top of the dashboard on the Nissan Leaf. And it is now charging. So that's how we do a fast charge. Now to end a fast charge, you come up, you do not unplug the car first. On these particular units, you offer the card up again. 
it's now saying charge ended by user please unplug the cable so you unplug the cable from this end and then walk up to the car and on this particular one you press the little cable down pull the uh, connector out shut your flap shut it all down and there we go we've done a fast charge so here we are at the rapid charger so i've got my uh, charge place scotland card so on the screen you can see it in the sun you offer the card up it doesn't matter which way it is you can do it every which way and you have this screen here ccs is for most modern electric cars stands for combined charging system ac which is for the older zoe's and chadamo and on this particular car the older shape nissan leaf it takes chadamo so just to show you the different connectors so that's ac uh, as again it's denoted above here as well this is ccs which is for most of the modern electric vehicles and chadamo so these are the industry standards so we've asked to use uh, a rapid charge and we're going to select chadamo so you press this button here the screen then says plug the cable and press start so we go to the front of the car this time we're going to use the bigger connection this is the chadamo connector and we take this out of here and again you just plug it in so it's uh, upright and square push until it clicks go back to the screen and then it can say press cancel you can see it in the light or start there's start so we're going to press start now what this unit is going to do it's going to talk to the car the leaf will do two beeps there we go whether you heard that or not and the unit will tell us i'm 59 percent charged and this particular rapid will calculate how much energy it's going to actually push in to the car this is really really rapid it's faster than a fast <laughs> so this is a rapid charge and again as denoted on the windscreen on this particular electric vehicle it's basically saying we're not yet 66 percent full so you've got the first solid lights 33 percent when the second one is solid it's 66 percent then obviously the third one solid would be 99 or 100 percent full on this particular connector there's a little red light denoting that it's charging and everything is locked in place no one else can unplug your connector uh, be it ccs or the ac or the chadamo because the car will lock the connector into the car so no one can unplug you and no one can stop your charge unless the original card is presented to the charger to end a charge now should you arrive and uh, i've gone down to the shops and i've met uncle frank I've not seen him for years and i lose track of time once this rapid has filled the car it will actually be full and it will stop charging and that red light on the handle will go out and both of these lines here will be green so if i was to pull up and i saw a car connected and that light was out those are both green you couldn't hear it charging you can actually unplug because once the charge has finished the car will automatically release the cable it is quite okay to unplug someone else's car if they are finished charging shut their flaps and start a new charge with your rfid card on the charger okay so let's end a charge so offer the original card up the screen will come back i'm going to press stop you wait for a series of clicks and checks again it's ending the process charge ended by user i can now unplug the rapid charge connector so on this chadamo you slide the, your finger forward pull it out square pop the connector back in there come back to the car shut your flaps shut the flap and that's it you're done you're ready to go so i hope that's been useful explaining how we do a rapid charge and also a fast charge but whenever we hand over a vehicle whether we're going to lease to our customers we're always more than happy to talk you through how to use public charging here on orkney but these principles apply worldwide when it comes to rapid or fast charging so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time